Artist ADH 300 TV headphones use and troubleshooting. This video will show you how to use Artist ADH 300 TV headset. First, open the product package. Please note the batteries have been installed in the right ear cover in your factory. You can adjust the headband to the most comfortable degree. Charging correctly. Please charge the headset for 7 hours before using it. Firstly, connect the adapter to the DC in jack, other side to your family electronic power. You will see the red light flash for 6 seconds. In order to charge correctly, please retract the headband and ensure the headset is turned off. Touch the charging port. Put the headphone into the base. Then the green light will be on. Please note if headband is not retracted, the green light is not bright. So please check if the charging pin is in good contact when charging. When the battery is fully charged, the green light will be off. Connection. Before connect the transmitter to TV, Please connect to 4 by 3.5 mm cable to test the item. Connect the transmitter to your 4 by 3.5 mm cable, then connect power to the base. Turn on it. The LED light shows red. Play for music. Turn on the headphone. LED light on the left turns to green, indicating the headphone and the base are connected successfully. You will hear sound. Before connect the transmitter to your TV, please disconnect the other audio output with your TV, like soundbar, which may affect the headphones working. There are two connecting ways, 3.5mm AUX and RCA cable. Then I will show you how to connect to 3.5mm cable. First, connect the RCA cable to the back of the base by color, and the other side to your TV audio out 3.5 mm jack. Then connect power to the base, the LED light shows red, then turn on TV and play sound. Take out the headphone, press the power button for 2 seconds, and the LED light on the left turns to green, indicating the headphone and the base are connected successfully. Then you will hear sound. If no sound, please adjust your TV audio setting. And for us, the A connection, it's similar to the 3.5mm steps. Just connect with the female 3.5mm cable, and then connect it to TV RCA audio output. Please notice that it is audio out, not audio in. Then turn on TV and play sound. Then you will see the green light on the headphone is on, and the red light on the base is on, so the connections between them are successful. You will hear sound. If no sound, please adjust your TV audio setting. Two headphones to pair with one transmitter. Connect the transmitter with your TV and turn on your TV and play sound. Disconnect the transmitter power. Press and hold the power button on the new headset for about 8 seconds until the green light near the volume button flashes. Then open the original headphone at the same time. Then get power to the transmitter. The red indicator light flashes indicating it begins to identify the surrounding headphones. About 10 seconds later, the red light on the base goes off, means the search is completed. Green light on both of the two headsets will be on, and the red light of the base will turn on brightly, indicating that the additional headset is also paired with base successfully. Then both units work.
troubleshooting. Here I will explain the problem that you may meet and how to deal with them. On successful pairing, make sure the transmitter is connected with your TV and turn on your TV and play sound. Turn off the headset. Press and hold the headset for about 8 seconds until the green light near the volume button flashes. The red light on the transmitter blinks, indicating that the headset signal is being searched. After 10 seconds, the red light is on, indicating pairing success. About smart TV cannot use it. These products do not include a digital optical to analog adapter and cannot be used on smart TV. If your TV only supports optical port, or tried that to other connections, still cannot work. Please contact us to buy an optical adapter for connection. Then we will show how to connect with optical port. First, connect the adapter to your TV. Then other side to the transmitter. Get power to the optical adapter. Turn on your TV and play sound. Take out the headphone. Turn on it. Then the green light will be on the left of the headphone. Means connections between them are successful. If no sound, please adjust your TV setting. For details, please see the menu. Only one side can hear sound. The normal reason for this problem is that the 3.5mm cable is connected to the audio and video jack on the TV. It can only output one channel, then can connect with RC cable. The sound is noisy or no sound in the headphones. Please see whether you plug the cable into audio inject and notice other wireless devices, such as routers, TVs, may interfere with the signal of the headset. Keep them away from the transmitter. Here, I have to emphasize that this headset will automatically shut down with no audio input or audio sound is too big for 3 minutes. The headset will automatically end the power saving mode. You need to reopen the audio and restart the headset. Initial volume of the headset is default. After the headphone is turned off, the volume level of the previous sound cannot be memorized, so the sound may be too loud after the headphone is turned back on. To avoid damaging your ears, do not put your headphones on until the appropriate volume is ready. Some written reports reflect the transmission distance is less than 100 feet. 100 feet is a straight line transmission distance at the open area. The signal will be affected by the wall or people, or interfered by other wireless devices, like loot. If you cannot find the TV settings, we instructed as above steps. Please contact your TV's factory. That's all. Thank you.